Hello friends. Today I have come with some short trick to learn all the examples of epithelial tissues because I know mugging up all these examples is very hard. No more worries. Here we have the short tricks. So before starting I would like to give uh, to give a small intro about the types of epithelial tissues. So here you see ET ET means epithelial tissues. So uh, epithelial tissues are classified into two simple epithelia and compound epithelia so let's look at simple epithelia simple epithelia is again classified into five types first is squamous cuboidal columnar ciliated and pseudo stratified so first is squamous just remember like square square squamous then cuboidal after square there we have the cube cube shaped cuboidal squamous means just a single layer Okay, then columnar epithelium, column, then ciliated, cilia, just like a has. Then pseudo stratified, pseudo means what falls like, right? So pseudo stratified epithelium. Then we have the compound epithelium. So simple is of five types and compound, compound is just two types, that is stratified epithelium and transition epithelium. Now let's go to simple epithelia or unilayered epithelia. So they are unilayered, okay. So first is squamous epithelia. They are also called payment epithelium. So where are they present? Before going to this, let's uh, learn our short trick. The short trick is ATB. What is ATB? All the best, right? So all the best bolo, lady to left hand batsman of cricketing. So we are asking lady to say all the best to all the left hand batsman of cricketing. ATB bolo lady to left hand batsman of cricket team. So what is ATB? TB terminal bronchioles and A alveoli. So ATB means terminal bronchi and alveoli or you can say as alveoli, alveoli and terminal bronchi of the lungs. Then bolo for bo means Bowman's capsule and lo loops of Henle of the nephrons of kidney. Then, uh, what is labi? Labi means labyrinth, labyrinth, a membranous labyrinth. That is an internal layer, okay? So, you have to learn this labyrinth. That's why we uh, named it labi. Just like baby, it's labi. To left hand batsman. So, here comes the part left hand batsman. For left, it means limb vessels, then hand, H, heart, and B, batsman, a uh, blood vessels. So, uh, just remember one thing, this is about uh, vessels. When we say L, you might think it is a lungs. But just remember, for B, it's blood vessels. So, another vessel, that is limb vessel. So, together, this left hand batsman are together called endothelium. So, left hand batsman are endothelium. Okay. So, LHB, left hand batsman are ending these days. Also, just another short trick to learn endothelium. Uh, you may ignore that because you just need to know that left hand batsman. What are they? Endothelium. So, next we have cricket. What is cricket? Coelomic cavity. So, coelomic cavity is when you hear it uh, itself, you must remember that this present in squamous epithelia. And coelomic cavities are called mesothelium. So, coelomic cavities are called mesothelium. Then, team. Team. Team means testis. Recti testis of the testis. So, this is important for need. For plus one, I don't think so that you uh, need to learn all these examples. But for need, it is very important. Because the question may come like, uh, where is a coelomic cavities? Where are coelomic cavities found? In which, uh, uh, which layer of the epithelium? Then, it is squamous epithelium. So then the cells of endothelium and mesothelium becomes wavy. So they become wavy. Hence these epithelia are called tessellated. So you have to learn that squamous epithelium are pavement epithelium. And they are also called tessellated. Okay. So what, are the, what is this short trick? ATB bolo lebi to left hand batsman of cricket team. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, eight examples first in the lung, then kidney. Uh, you have to learn Bowman's castle and uh, loops of Henley, terminal bronchi, and alveoli of the lung. All these things, okay? If you want, you can pass, pause the video and then write down the short trick. And with this example, you must remember one thing that lymph vessel it is not lung, L for lymph vessel, blood vessel, lymph vessel, heart, and it is called together called endothelium. Now, next one cuboidal epithelium. So short trick of cuboidal epithelium is DSP birth 
Bharat means you can uh, learn it as Bharat. Okay, DSP Bharat. Call Lady and told no students chopped Iran's eyes. Uh, this uh, this sounds so funny, right? But anyway, this is a short trick. I have to make some short trick to learn all this, cause mugging up is really hard. So what is it? DSP Bharat. Call Lady and told no student chopped Iran's eyes. So what is DSP? D for ducks. So ducks, what all ducks? Salivary duck, pancreatic duck, and Bartholin duck. Not not all the ducks, but just these three duck. Okay. So which duck? Salivary, pancreatic, Bartholin. So S P B D S P Bart. So Bart. I named it Bart because Bartholin. You might not remember it all the time. It is a hard name. So just learn it like Bart. Bart Bartholin. So D S P Bart means duck. Salivary, pancreatic, Bartholin. Called. Call means ciliated bodies, ciliated bodies. Okay, C A L. Call C A then L. So ciliated, ciliated bodies. Yeah, sorry, ciliary bodies. Okay, then labi. Again labi. We saw this here also, like labyrinth. Here also. So it is found in squamous as well as in cuboidal epithelium. So a uh, labi uh, that is membrane is labyrinth and told. Told means thyroid vesicles. No students. No for nephrons and ovaries. Nephrons and ovaries. Student that is seminiferous tubule. ST. The seminiferous tubules. Chopped Iran's eyes. Chopped for choroid and iris of eyes. So choroid and iris of eyes. Where are they found? In cuboidal epithelium. So now let's look at the example that is uh, they are present in small salivary and pancreatic ducts, thyroid vesicles, parts of membranes, labyrinth, nephrons of kidney, ovaries, seminiferous tubules of testis, ciliary bodies, choroid and iris of eyes, Bartholin ducts. So we just made all these ducts together that is DSP Bharat. What did DSP Bharat do? He called whom? Lebi. So DSP Bharat called Lebi and what did he tell her? And he told her that no students chopped Iran's eyes. Chopped Iran's eyes. They are all a part of eyes. When you uh, when you hear this uh, name eyes itself, you must remember that it's a part of eyes. The corroid and errors of eyes. So which was a cube. Just uh, which was eyes means what is eyes like? It is like cube shape, right? So cuboidal. So which was a cube that is cuboidal epithelium. The squamous was something related to the left hand batsman of cricket team. And now uh, cuboidal epithelium is related with Iran's eyes which means cube. So DSP Bath called Lady and told no student shopped Iran's eyes. Okay, now let's move to the next one. Next we have the columnar epithelium. So columnar epithelium, it uh, easy trick to learn is it is just uh, this one is really easy. That is pig has big stomach. Pig has big stomach. So what is it? Pig, P I G, stand for pancreatic lobules, intestinal glands, and gastric glands. So this pig is called glandular epithelium. Why are they called um, glandular epithelium? They have secreted role. They have some secreted role and are called glandular glandular epithelium. So what is short trick? Pig. Pig means pancreatic lobules, intestinal glands, and gastric glands. Has big. What is big? Bile duct, intestine, gallbladder. What is uh, stomach? That's you know that it's stomach. Okay. So columnar epithelium present in stomach. Intestine, gallbladder, bile. So B I G, bile duct, intestine, gallbladder, and pig. Pancreatic lobules, intestinal gland, gastric gland. So pig has big stomach. Where it is columnar epithelium. When you learn the short trick, just remember upon which uh, epithelium you are learning it. And this one, uh, we have learned this uh, short trick for columnar epithelium. So third one is columnar epithelium. This pig has big stomach. Then next we have ciliated epithelium. So ciliated epithelium is of two types: ciliated columnar epithelium and ciliated cuboidal epithelium. First, let's look at ciliated columnar epithelium. Okay, uh, we have short trick for learning that. The short trick is red fast track van was booked for CS. CS means computer science, right? Computer science tuition class in auditorium. So red fast track. Fast track. Uh, I don't know if that fast track services are there in your city. But I have heard fast track in Chennai and all, so I just named it fast track. Fast track for FT fallopian tube. Okay, so red fast track, fast track. 
so red a red color was struck when was booked for for what for cs computer science tuition class in auditorium so what is it red red for respiratory tract so red for respiratory tract and fast track for fallopian tube van was booked so van and booked van for ventricles of the brain ventricles of the brain van was booked van booked van booked that is ventricles of the brain b for brain cs that is computer science and here we have central canal of spinal cord central canal of spinal cord this one is very important okay and where it is one ciliated columnar epithelium so central canal of spinal cord tuition class for tympanic cavity and auditorium auditory tube okay auditory tube and it's also called is um is station tube is station tube and here we have that ciliated columnar epithelium just here we saw that right and ciliated cuboidal epithelium and it's very easy that is occurs in certain parts of nephrons of the kidney so cuboidal epithelium ciliated cuboidal epithelium occurs in certain parts of nephrons of kidney you just have to learn it then we have pseudo stratified epithelium so this one is last pseudo stratified epithelium it is again classified into two pseudo stratified columnar epithelium and pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium i just wonder why they name like this okay anyway we have to learn this so first uh, first one pseudo stratified columnar epithelium large ducts of certain glands such as parotid salivary glands and urethra of human male okay so what is a uh, short trick for this us girl united state girl that is urethra and salivary gland usg so u as girl urethra salivary gland states girl that is salivary gland and urethra so where it is found pseudo stratified columnar epithelium so pseudo stratified columnar epithelium is found in us girl i mean uh, urethra salivary glands then a pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium wow so it is found in trachea and large bronchi so you, uh, i don't think you need any short trick to this because trachea large bronchi both are part of um, you know the respiratory system right trachea and large bronchi so pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium the name is so big but it's found in two places mainly that is trachea and large bronchi trachea large bronchi pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium so the movement of this cilia propel the mucus and foreign particles to, uh, towards the larynx some of the columnar or cuboidal cells form glandular epithelium okay now next we will look at the types there are of two types so uh, this one this uh, pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium two types they are forming unicellular consisting of isolated glandular cells example goblet cells of elementary canal then multicellular consisting group of cells salivary glands okay you just uh, have to have a look at this so unicellular consisting of isolated glandular cell unicellular that is goblet cell of the elementary canal and multicellular salivary glands then we have compound epithelium that is multilayered epithelium first is stratified epithelium there are four types stratified squamous stratified cuboidal epithelium stratified columnar epithelium stratified columnar ciliated epithelium so squamous cuboid cuboidal columnar ciliated so they are of um, four types so first let's look at a uh, stratified squamous epithelium they are again classified into two keratinized and non keratinized keratinized is found in epidermis of the skin of land vertebrates so uh, which is found in epidermis of skin of land vertebrates keratinized uh, stratified squamous epithelium this is very important okay so keratinized uh, stratified squamous epithelium is found in epidermis of the skin of land vertebrates and non keratinized they are found in oral cavity pharynx esophagus and they can a lower part of urethra vocal cord vagina cervix and cornea and conjunctiva of eyes so you just note uh, you have to learn this vagina cervix cornea and conjunctiva of eyes urethra vocal cord oral cavity pharynx esophagus anal canal lower part of urethra that's why so i uh, just learned this oral cavity pharynx then vagina cervix cornea and conjunctiva of eyes this is very important 
then we have stratified cubo cubical epithelium inner surface of salivary and pancreatic ducts yeah, i didn't make any short trick for learning this because when we make so many short trick then you will just uh, get confused for learning this uh, simple things you not need not make any short trick then we have stratified columnar epithelium covers epiglottis and parts of urethra then we have stratified columnar ciliated epithelium larynx and upper part of soft palate so uh, which cover uh, which is uh, where is stratified columnar ciliated epithelium found larynx and upper part of soft palate then we have transitional epithelium or urothelium which is found in walls of urinary bladder wall of urinary bladder ureter renal pelvis and upper part of urethra okay so walls of urinary bladder ureter renal pelvis and upper part of urethra transitional epithelium or urothelium so that's all about epithelial tissues okay that was a huge thing right so again we will uh, rewind to our short tricks squamous epithelium atb bolo lebi to left hand batsman of cricket team atb bolo lebi to left hand batsman of cricket team so what a left hand batsman are called endothelium and cricket that is coelomic cavity is mesothelium so membrane is labyrinth was found in squamous epithelium and also we saw in cuboidal epithelium right and here dsp bud called lebi and told no student shop iran's eyes eyes which is cube in shape so it belongs to cuboidal epithelium and here squamous epithelium which comes in first squamous squamous so uh, first means squamous so it is about something related to cricket left hand batsman of cricket team then we have columnar epithelium which was related to pig what did pig have pig has big stomach okay then we have ciliated epithelium which is of two types ciliated columnar epithelium and ciliated cuboidal epithelium ciliated columnar epithelium short trick was led first track van was booked for cs tuition class in auditorium then we have pseudo stratified epithelium pseudo stratified columnar which is divided into two pseudo stratified columnar epithelium pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium and us girl pseudo stratified columnar epithelium was us girl and then pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium just two things that is trachea and large bronchi so you have to learn all this i think this short trick helped you if so then please leave a like to this video and do subscribe my channel i will i will make uh, i will try my best to make more short tricks like this and will help you thank you